it, hydrostatics historically on the smaller machines, it's just it, it, you get the power to the ground more efficiently, and so it's, and it, it gives you a few other things. Um, the other things that hydrostatics does and why we decided to incorporate it into our largest machine here because um, uh, typically in a large dozer this size you're going to have a torque converter transmission. The hydrostatic transmission gives you infinite speed control. So what that means is that um, if you get a heavy load when you are operating today and you set your transmission speed let's say to 2.0, what will happen with our transmission is the operator only has to focus on the task at hand of the material that is on the blade in front of him. So if you encounter a big load, our transmission will automatically slow down, get the load, and push through the load, and then get back up to that 2.0 speed. There's no shifting involved. All he's got to worry about is to focus on that blade in front of him to work through that heavy, that heavy cut that he's working in. So it, very, it simplifies operation. The other thing that it does for you is if you do have a full blade and you have to turn the machine, the, the ability to have power to both tracks with a hydrostatic transmission allows you to take a turn with a full load. Now it doesn't happen a lot that you need to do that, but there are occasions where you have to take a turn with a heavy load. The hydrostatic transmission allows you that. The other thing a hydrostatic transmission does is it allows you the ability to counter rotate on the go. Now counter rotate, we demonstrate it by, um, you know, we'll have someone take this dozer out in the middle, uh, out in the middle of the operating area, and he'll just uh, he'll take the the uh, steering lever, do a counter rotate, and you just watch the machine turn on a dime. That's not where that that hydrostatic transmission and the counter rotating feature comes into play. If you're if you're um, say pioneering a road and you're trying to cut up a, up a slope, what'll end up happening is is that the 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 slope is going to try to pull the machine into the slope and so uh, a lot of times you'll see an operator back up reposition and then get back into the cut with the with a counter rotating feature with a hydrostatic transmission on the go you can just correct that machine and keep your line going so it, it allows you to make that cut uh, uh, very quickly and uh, you, you're a lot more productive because you're staying on task there with getting up through that slope it allows us the ability to customize how the machine operates and what I mean by that is we have, um, you've got your forward, neutral, and reverse operation. You've got your um, hydraulic response, but you also have on the floor your decel pedal. We have one single pedal on the floor uh, as opposed to two. And what we can do is if the, if the operator wants that machined, uh, when they cut it, get at the end of, an, uh, end of a cut and they want to do a direction change, sometimes the operator likes to feel that they have a little bit of a rollout before it changes direction. Well, if he likes the feel of that, we can customize the reaction of that F and R, the uh, forward neutral reverse rate, down to a lower response rate. But if he wants a quick, snappy response, we can dial that up to a, a high, quick response. So it really does allow us to uh, take a look at the at the customer that we're dealing with, the operator and his history uh, of what he likes, and make that machine operate the way he likes it. Steering response, we can dial that in as well. So there's three settings. There's uh, it comes out of the factory in normal or mid range. You can dial it down to low if he wants a slower response, or you can dial it up to high if he wants a real quick, snappy response on the machine. All of our K series dozers have a, have a uh, eco mode. Now, eco mode is a feature that a lot of machine forms is, is starting to incorporate as fuel economy is becoming more important. But as I mentioned before, that with the John Deere engine and our team controlling the software on the hydrostatic transmission, the eco mode on our machines operates. It's, it's, it's a neat feature. So typically, your, your high idle, the typically operator gets in the machine, starts it, ramps up the engine to full throttle, and then puts it in gear and moves on its, moves on its way to go do its job. Well, with eco mode on, what it does is it lowers the engine RPM to 1,700 RPM. And because in a lot of a lot of times when you're if you're not carrying a big load, you don't need that engine all the way up to full throttle. So the unique, the great thing about our machine is that as soon as we as soon as the machine recognizes that it's got a big load on it, the engine automatically ramps back up so that it gets full performance. So it's it's a it's a great system. Uh, it, it recognizes the load on the machine. So if you don't have a big load and you don't need full engine RPM on this machine, we have that engine RPM come down. But as soon as we see the load on that machine, it quickly ramps up. And so we we confidently say that eco mode, the way it works on our machines, you will get no loss in productivity with 
upwards of a 20% fuel savings with eco mode on versus eco mode off. We fully expect that the customers are gonna say, yeah, eco mode is definitely on the John Deere dozer. It's a great feature, let's run it all the time. We also, we also recognize that um, some operators, if you give them the choice, if you give them a choice of, uh, of an eco mode or a power mode, by default, historically, that operator has always chosen power mode. If the owner gets it, that he's not losing productivity and he has the ability to save fuel, we can go into the monitor in what we call owner mode, and we can actually lock eco mode fully engaged where the operator can't turn it on and off. So we really do give the, to give the owner that really want, loves that feature and understands how it works the ability to lock it in so his entire fleet can run with it on.